We are back for episode two of The Mediocre Mechanic. As you can see, it says we're on day one, so I believe the first day was actually day zero. And the first day was not a full day. It was only 18 minutes long, because I believe we started around six o'clock, somewhere around there. So we're on day two. Day one, we got the master battery from the first building, so we could power the spaceship. We put out all the fire here, and we crafted a connector tool, as well as collected the logbook here. And we got a bunch of other resources. So if we can find some cows, we will definitely try to feed the cows for some milk. And the plan for today is going to be to loot all the buildings that are around in the starting spawn chunk. And then if we have time, we'll make our way to the mechanic workshop. So I know there's some buildings back here. And of course, if we see any bots, we'll make sure we scoop up the resources they're going to drop as well. Like I said, these guys in this first starting chunk, they don't respawn. So once we get rid of these guys, this will be a safe area to come back to and clear out all these trees. Now this is the first time we've seen one of these. This is actually a large tree. So as you can see, it says the tree is too big to break your sledgehammer. The, two, the tree is too big for the sledgehammer. So you actually have to use a saw to cut that down. And over here, oh, we're actually going the wrong way. We need to go this direction. Because I believe there's one or two buildings back here. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we clear out at least the building that's back here. We're going to grab this beeswax because, like I said, we're going to need that for tires later on. So make sure you grab any beeswax that you see. And actually, this is the first time we've seen these rocks. So these rocks are actually breakable. Not this part, but this part up here. You can break that with a drill, which you can craft using the craft bot. You can also, I believe, trade for... You can definitely trade for a saw with the trader, which is something we'll cover later on. Not sure. I think you can also trade for a drill. So yeah, we want to cover. We want to clear this building over here. This building over here is probably going to have a couple of bots in it. And we'll grab this corn just in case we see a cow. We have not seen a cow yet. So if you enjoyed the first video and you end up enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like button and share this video and consider subscribing. We're going to be doing scrap mechanic videos pretty much every day, I think. For the foreseeable future so here we have a hay bot and just a reminder as you're if you're fighting them with a hammer just swinging them back up because if you try to just sit there and trade hits with them you're gonna end up getting knocked out and having to respawn so here's a tip we haven't seen one of these yet this is a i guess this is a wheat was this wheat so you're gonna want to smack this because sometimes there's loot crates hidden underneath of them and this building does this have a basement no okay so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. There shouldn't be anything under here, but we can smack it anyway. And we got some scrap metal. Now we're probably going to use our lift here. I don't know if we used the lift yesterday. The lift is for using, is for cr building creations, like vehicles and stuff, but you can also use it to get to higher places. So for example, we place our lift here, and everybody starts with a lift. You never lose the lift. Can't throw it away. We can use this to get to places we otherwise couldn't reach, and then we're gonna try to jump over here, which we managed to do. So nothing under here, but we do have a loot crate over here. The reason we're gathering these up is because we wanna just make sure we gather any of the resources here. And these loot crates at the beginning tend to seem to have the stuff that you're gonna need for when you're starting out, like bearings and stuff like that, and seeds. And this building actually looks a little bit different than I remember it. I'm not sure if they changed it or if it's just the way it looks is randomly generated. But there's definitely always a building back behind the spaceship, which you can see off in the distance right now, the smoking. So maybe this is the only building back here. Let's just get a quick look around, see if we can see anything else. That is the parking lot. So I don't know if there's another building back here. And if you don't pick up the lift, it's not a big deal. You can just place it again, bam, it's there. You don't have to pick it up. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to run over here. Let's just run on the coastline real quick. We're going to see if we can find any cows. And also, I believe there's another building back here, which we want to definitely grab. Because this loot's not going to respawn. But we want to make sure we get it because there's a chance we're not going to come back here very often. And like I said, the loot that, the loot that tends to be in these loot crates that doesn't respawn from what i've seen appears to be like starter loot so see mostly seeds and 
affects sun shakes and stuff because sun shakes have a very low drop rate you don't really get a lot of sun shakes and you currently cannot craft them I'm not sure if they're going to add those to uh, as a craftable recipe at some point in the future definitely would be cool especially since we could probably combine them with the milk from the cows and also bananas which are one of the crops that you can grow so yeah we have this building over here which we have not looted yet and we should be able to get up here using our lift so yeah the lift's definitely good for we might be able to get up here without the lift oh, look at that this guy's a mountain climber so yeah we have not looted this building this is the one i was looking for this is the one i'm more familiar with because this one has a basement and a roof and it sounds like there's a paybot down here somewhere hiding He's stuck back there on the steps. Maybe we can get lucky and hit him without him hitting us. No, we're not actually making contact with him. Can he hit us by jumping? No, he cannot. So, you do have... Your hammer has a slightly longer reach. And he did drop a component kit. Nice. Your, your hammer has a slightly longer reach than the Haybot's pitchfork. So, that's why I said if you hit them and back up, that's a decent strategy for... Either not taking a lot of damage or not taking any damage at all. We're just going to break all these piles of wheat or hay, whatever they are. Unlucky there was no loot crates under them. More component kits. Nice. Like I said, make sure you refine all the scrap metal. Particularly in the beginning because getting building resources is one of the main grinds you're going to have to experience when you're playing early on. And honestly, the only way to get metal is either from the tote bots or the hay bots dropping it or from breaking rocks. And the rocks tend to give more concrete than they do metal. So metal is definitely at a premium. And we are nearly at a point where we're thirsty. So if your health or hunger bar hits zero, either one of them, you will start losing HP. And let's see if we can get up here. I believe we can get up here using the lift. Not sure if there's any crates up here or not. There may or may not be. And we hit the roof, so we need to move it a little bit. One thing you could also do is place like a little platform on here so you can just stand on it. That way in case... And we're getting pushed off. Are we hitting the roof again? I'm not sure if there's anything up there, to be honest. So let's grab our wood real quick. We're definitely going to want to try to get up there. I think there is a box up there. There might be an easier way to get up there as well. Oh, we didn't break this either. Oh, this might be... Is this an easier way to get up here? No. I think there might be a bar or something. This might be the easier way to get up here. So we can just do this. We might not be able to reach. We can see if there's anything up here, though. There might be something in there. So one thing you can do, if you can't reach, you can always just build a little platform like this. Jump up one, two. And we're up. And there's a loot crate up here. And we got a carrot. Was it worth it? I don't know. But at least we know. And there's another one over here. So there's a couple loot crates up here. So I guess it's definitely worth getting up here. Some seeds, which we can use to plant a farm. There may or may not be one in here. I do not remember. But we're definitely going to check it out. These busted open things a lot of times do have loot crates in them. This does not. Most of the time they're sitting on the ground. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, and we're going to make sure we grab our wood. And we shouldn't take too much damage from this. So I believe there's one more building over here. To the right of this ship. And then we'll head down to that parking lot. How much time do we have? We are at 10 o'clock a.m. Prime time to be looting, because you can see everything. I'm not sure. Maybe cows do not spawn back here. Maybe they don't. I know they spawn a little bit further away. These cows are definitely useful. Getting mil milk fills up more thirst than it does hunger, which is great because from my experience, you tend to get thirsty a lot more than you tend to get hungry. There may or may not be a single bot in here. A hay bot. There's not could be hiding somewhere though so we're gonna be careful let's get this real quick i don't see this building looks a little bit different so i think maybe the first two buildings the the building where we got the master battery and the one down in the parking lot are always exactly the same but this building looks a little bit different than the buildings that i have seen in the starting spawn area 
on other maps. And then we got a bucket here, I guess we should grab that. And we got nice another sun shake, some gas for later on. And I believe that's the last building that's over here. There might be one up on this hill, but I don't think there is. But we can certainly circle through here because we're going to make our way down to that parking lot. That first main building, there's a quite a few hay bots in there, so we're going to get a decent amount of scrap metal. Do have to be careful though, because if you end up getting attacked by two or three of them at the same time, that can go things can go downhill really quickly. And I guess we got some more got some more corn here. There's also probably gonna be, I can see one right here in the distance. There's gonna be loot crates in the forest here. I wouldn't worry about trying to find all of them right now, because like I said, you can come back here later and cut down these trees. More gasoline. So there's probably going to be some... Oh, wait. We have not been to that building, have we? No, that's the, that's the other building that's over here. That's always over here. This one might be the one that has the haybot in it. And then if you see a path like this, you can usually walk up it without problems. So there should be at least one haybot here, and as well as at least a loot crate. And here we have the haybot. He's minding his business. Farming. He's going to... Oh, he almost hit us. Nice. Imagine we get a no damage plate episode. That'd be amazing. Alright, so. We're going to bust this for sure. We'll find this. Like I said, always break these because sometimes there is loot behind them. A little bit tip for getting up here. Actually, we're going to go this way. You can go this way, or you can actually walk up here and jump over. But since there is a K-Bot spine here that we're definitely going to want to refine, we're just going to jump over here, refine it, and then use our lift to get up again. The lift really comes in handy. If you are g later on when you get to buildings that are further away where the loot crates respawn and the hay bots respawn, there might be some spots like this that are... These are easy to get to, but there might be some spots that are a little bit harder to get to. There's other techniques for getting up there, which will definitely cover. Yeah, like I said, we're getting mainly food and dirt and other starting materials here. So I believe that's the last building. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the spaceship. Okay, so we're back at that first building that we saw in the first episode. And real quick, there is the spaceship. If you, you can easily see the spaceship by just looking for the smoke, or by turning it on with the logbook, so bam. That way we can see it. We don't really need it here right now anymore. Um, so this is the building. We already looted. This stuff in here, like I said, does not respawn. Now sometimes there are loot crates over here hiding. There does not appear to be any. They can some. There can sometimes be some that spawn here, back here under this building. Anyway, our main objective here is once we've gotten the battery, powered up the ship, Collected all the resources back there. We're going to want to go to this next building down here. And like I said, this is 100%. This is this is So far, this is the same on every map. What we're going to find in this building, there's going to be haybots around it. As you can see, one's already coming. So there's actually two coming. This could be a problem. We want to try to avoid fighting two at a time. So if we can use this rock to our advantage. Because if two of them hit us, we might take our first death. Just keep backing up. Nice, we ended up killing both of them without taking our first to death. So yeah, there's going to be a bunch of them around the building and also in the building. These guys, like I said, once you kill them the first time, they will not respawn. But we're definitely going to want to do it because we're going to get all of the scrap metal that we're going to use once we get to the mechanic workshop. Because we need scrap metal to make the first craft bot. You're also going to see there should be some green loot crates scattered around outside the building, and there's going to be a bunch inside the building. Nice, we got another component kit. And like I said, we're probably going to come back here at some point to cut down some of these trees, because then we won't have to worry about mobs just randomly attacking us while we're doing it. So I definitely recommend probably circling the building, because there's two more, and okay, we only got one of them aggro to us, which is great. One-on-one is definitely better than two-on-one. And if you rush in this building, there's a chance you're going to end up having maybe three or four of them just rushing you at the same time, which you definitely don't want, especially when you're just fighting them with the sledgehammer. Later on, when you get the spud gun or the spud shotgun, it doesn't really matter. If there's five or six of them charging you, you can kind of 
handle them. So, like I said, we'll let this guy aggro over to us. We'll hit him back up. Two hits back up. Bam. No damage again. Nice. Like I said, after we clear this building, I think we might have time to get to the workshop today. So the work the mechanic workshop is normally, I think, where most people kind of set up their first their first base or farm. Just because it's convenient, because it's that's where you're gonna craft all of your bots that you're gonna use. So there's a craft bot, there is a book bot, there's a dress bot for cosmetics, and then there's also a refinery bot and a resource collector and they can only be crafted at the mechanic workshop so there's two of them around the map not too far apart but you're going to definitely want a car to get to the second one all right so that's probably all the hay bots on the first floor we're gonna go inside here clean up any of the stuff that's in here And yeah, aside from the, the green crates, that large green chest that's over to the right, which I'll show in one second. Inside of here, you're going to get, typically it's one to three items. I don't know if I've ever seen, it may be all six, I'm not sure. These have like random, random loot spawns in these and they refill every, I believe it's every couple of days in game. So like I said, if you're looting a building, you hit the building and then you come back to it a couple in game days later. You'll probably be able to set up a good a good looting system. Is that all the loot crates down here? I think we've eliminated everything. Got all the haybot legs. We're gonna come up around here to the left. And yeah, you, we, I could have crafted a, a cheap little car right now, but I think it's probably better just to wait until we get to the mechanic station. So tip for getting up here, if you stand on here and run and jump, we hopefully can do this on the first try. Yep, and then we just Walk around. I think we missed that one, so we'll go back down there and grab it. There may be a haybot up here. No, there's not. There's just a bunch of loot. This is perfect. So we're going to grab all this. Actually, if you really wanted to, you could probably set up a base here, because like I said, nothing respawns. You'd be safe up here on the second floor, even if it did. So this could be a good storage area to put stuff, because this building, nothing's going to respawn on it. I don't believe anything spawn. We're not even going to try to get on the roof because I'm pretty sure nothing. I don't think any loot spawns on the roof, and it's a little bit of a pain to get up there. So we're going to get this. Then we're going to yeah, we're going to head down the road to the workshop, kind of workshop. And if we see a if we see a proto stand on the way, we'll grab some building blocks maybe. Yeah, you know, like I said. So now we have four bearings. So you can make a car with four bearings. It's Probably a little bit better to have six because you want one for each wheel and you also want two to help turn. You can just jump down. And right now we're sitting at, we got about three minutes. So let's just set the waypoint for the mechanic station, which is straight down the road. And we're just going to run there. That's probably going to be it for this episode. Maybe, maybe we'll see a cow on the way. Oh yes, we do have a cow over here. But I do want to get to the workshop first. So we'll, let's see. There should be cows by the workshop. So let's just run down to the workshop real quick. So we've almost made it to the mechanic workshop. And we have about a minute, 30 seconds left on this day. Now, what, th what you're going to notice is the mechanic workshop is always in the same place on the map. But between here and where we started, everybody's map's going to look different because there's randomly generated terrain. So your map might look wildly different. But this workshop's going to be here. And what we're going to do real quick is we're going to go in here. There shouldn't be a bot in here, right? No, and we're gonna set our respawn point here because this is where we're gonna set up base most likely tomorrow. Now there is a hay bot in here, but I'll mess with him tomorrow. So we're gonna come in here real quick and show you guys what's in here. Now you got one of those craft bots that was in the spaceship and we need a master battery for this. The master battery for that is actually in one of those pods over there. So we'll grab that tomorrow. And then this is gonna allow us to craft the other bots. So. We got about 30 seconds left, so that was day two on this world. What do we do? We cra we went around and looted all the buildings that were around the in the starting chunk. We cleared out that f that first big building down the parking lot, and then we made our way over to the mechanics workshop, or the mechanic station as they call it. And you can set up the beacons. And if you ever need to get back to the crash ship, you can just set it on your map, and I'll show you how to get there. And like I said, everything in between is from everything after that starting chunk is going to be randomly generated 
except for the major points of interest. So this will always be exactly in the same spot on the map, but the terrain around it could look wildly different. And it's definitely, you want to be careful coming over here because there could be bots along the way. So anyway, if you liked the video, make sure you click the like button, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.